2018 Cadillac CT6 Super Cruise, can the car really drive itself? We take the semi-autonomous system for 1,000-mile drive to test its self-steering adaptive cruise control. We live and breathe car performance metrics like horsepower, pound to foot, 0 to 60 and lateral Gs. Terms such as kilowatt hours, how much energy batteries can hold, is being added to the list as more electric vehicles are hitting the road. Available as a $5,000 option, Super Cruise is a new adoptive cruise control technology that I'm hoping is going to steer, accelerate and brake for me, all on its own, for the next 400 miles. For reference, that's just a fraction of the 130,000 plus highway miles in the US and Canada that's been mapped out by Usher Incorporated of Livonia, Michigan, who've assembled high-definition LiDAR-derived roadmaps upon which GM overlays its own GPS data. Although the autopilot and propilot assist require the driver's hands remain on the wheel for their system to stay on, the Super Cruise will stay active only if the driver is paying attention. It determines this by continuously tracking driver face and eye gaze direction via a steering column mounted infrared camera. Even if you're trying Super Cruise for the first time, it's easy to learn. You activate it by using two steering wheel buttons. First, turn on the adaptive cruise control. Once it has determined the car is on a limited access highway with visible lane markings and a strong GPS signal, a grayed out steering wheel symbol will appear to the right of the speedometer indicating it's ready. Press the Super Cruise button, and the steering wheel symbol and light bar across the top of the steering wheel both turn green to show the car is now in command. Let's be clear, Super Cruise is not autonomous driving. Your eyes have to stay on the road for it to keep working. To pass slower traffic, you still have to look around and manually lane change just like an ordinary car, unlike autopilot which automatically steers you into the next lane after you've taken responsibility by flicking the turn signal. As you change lanes, Super Cruise's green steering wheel lights turn blue until it reorients itself, whereupon it switches back to green, and the chauffeuring automatically resumes. After about 150 miles, I'm deep into central California where the roads are mostly straight with minimal on and off ramps. But Super Cruise follows the few sweeping bends with smooth steering adjustments. It also determines a safe speed for its radius, there isn't the jitteriness we've seen with other camera-only lane-keeping technologies. Nearing San Jose, a, the setting afternoon sun had me putting on my sunglasses. But Super Cruise's steering wheel mounted infrared light emitters illuminate right through them to follow my eyes, regardless of my sunglasses or the time of day.